Growing up a member of another faith, the first time I can remember feeling the Spirit and hearing the Savior talk to me was during a religious retreat in the early 90s. One evening, they had us all sit on the floor in a gym with the lights dimmed. Over the speakers, we heard actors reenacting the crucifixion. Each time the hammer hit the nail, I became more and more emotional. When it was finished, I was sobbing uncontrollably. I sobbed because of the pain he endured and I saw because he did that for me. In the days following that experience, I was a changed young man. I loved everyone. I was happy. I tried hard to do what was right and follow the Savior. I would even tell my classmates that I loved them, which they all thought was pretty weird. The tragic thing is I was not taught how to continue to have those feelings, nor was I taught how to continue to stay close to the Lord. Not long after, I went back to my old ways. Then in February of 1994, I found and joined the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and my life has never been the same since. I have learned over the years that the Savior speaks to me personally, and I'm closest to Him as I go through my struggles and trials. In 2017, I started the year with food poisoning while on a business trip to California, which has affected me ever since. Later that year, I had a DVT and pulmonary embolism which has resulted in me having to take blood thinners the rest of my life. These and many other experiences have caused me to call upon the Lord for help. It's in those quiet moments of reflection and prayer that I hear Him speak to my soul. He teaches me that everything is going to work out because this is His will and He will remain with me no matter what I'm going through. I have also come to hear the Savior through my scripture study. I recently was reading in the Book of Mormon in Helam in chapter 5. As I read the account of Lehi and Nephi and their struggles in the dark prison, and then read about the spiritual manifestations they received after enduring their struggles, I was moved to tears. I had never had such a profound experience as I did that day as I studied the scriptures. I have a strong testimony that the Lord will speak to us, and as we hear Him and act upon those promptings, we will be strengthened and we will continue to hear the Lord in our life. And this is my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.